What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the perfect jailbroken iPhone. So I'm going to be going through my device and I'm going to show you everything that I have on it. I'm going to show you all the tweaks, all the themes, uh, even all the apps if you guys want to check that out. So I'm going to be going through all of that. Now keep in mind that this is something that changes on a, not a daily basis, but it changes frequently. So I'm getting rid of tweaks, I'm adding new tweaks, I mean new stuff comes out, you know. And you guys know, I mean, all the videos that I do, all the tweaks that I cover, I'm always going to find something different that I like uh, better. So we're going to go through all of that stuff. And I'm not necessarily going to give you a complete full review of each of the tweaks just because that's going to take forever because I have a ton of tweaks on here. So I did a review, I'm sure, of at least 95% of these tweaks that I have here, probably even more. There may be one or two that I haven't done a review on, and I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check out the full review of these tweaks if you have any more questions or if you want to see exactly what these do before you purchase them. Or, I mean, some of these are free, so you can check those out as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings here, and we're going to start right here with all of our tweaks so so right up here at the top we have activator and if you guys have a jailbroken device what you probably do then you probably know about activator I mean it's going to allow you to use activator gestures in order to carry out specific actions and I mean it has a ton of functionality and you know if you just mess with it for you know a little while you're gonna really discover the ability that activator has it's probably not used to its full extent on most devices just because people don't really mess with it that much but it definitely is a really awesome tweak now coming down here we have alkaline so this is basically like a winter board for your battery so it's going to allow you to set specific battery themes and you can see the all you need to do is enable it and then you can choose your theme right here so here are some of the themes that I have and the semicircular black is what I'm using right now so you can search for these in Cydia and they'll pop right up and you can uh, download alkaline which is free as all as well as all these battery themes those are all free as well and right here we have Animer 7, so if we tap on that, this is basically going to allow you to animate your notification banners as well as your multitasking switcher. So if we tap on this, you can see you have some options right here. And if I show a test banner, you can see exactly what that does. Changes up the animation rather than just popping up there, right up there at the top. So let's go ahead and turn on Do Not Disturb for the rest of this video. Now down here we have App ETA. Now what this does is allow you to uh, get some more information out of your apps when you're downloading them. Uh, from the App Store. So if you're downloading something from the App Store straight to your springboard here and it's you know loading right there you can double tap on it it's going to bring up a, a lot of information you know tell you the speed that you're downloading the uh, the amount that you've already downloaded the size that you're going to download and how much time left it's going to take in order to download that app so this is just something that I use because my internet's really slow and I'm downloading like you know whatever it is a two gig game then I like to know you know when this is going to be done and make sure that it's still downloading in the process so right here we have Asphalia, which I did a complete review over. This is a, a really awesome tweak. It gives you a ton of uh, security, and there's a ton of functionality with this. It's basically just like the best Touch ID tweak, in my opinion. So, you know, when you're trying to open up an application, I have all of my finance stuff right here. So if I wanted to open up, you know, PayPal, you can see that you have to scan my finger in order to open it up, and then you would just scan your finger, and it's going to open that up. So this is a really cool tweak. There's a ton of functionality, so definitely check out the full review of this, and I'll put it in the link in the description below. Next, we have Barrel Dock. Now, this isn't necessarily called Barrel Dock in City. It's actually called Dock Flow. And I did a review of this very recently. So, this is actually really cool. It's going to allow you to change up the animation of your dock. So, you can see right here, I have mine set up right here. So, you can see as I swipe through. And there's a ton of different animations to choose from. I just happen to like this one. Now, it's not going to allow you to add. Uh, more icons to your dock you are going to have to download you know something like InfiniDock or five icon dock in order to get more icons in your dock but you can use this with four uh, icons as well and it looks just fine but going back into settings let's go down here to battery status bar you can see that you get some options right here so you're going to be able to change the bar height you're going to be able to change the vertical position of this you can do top middle or bottom but basically it's going to put that battery bar right up there at the top you can see that it's going to be on your device at all times right there in the status bar so it's going to give you a live feed of your battery percentage right up there at the top so you know when it gets down to here it actually changes colors I believe I never actually get it down there very often so I'm not 100% sure but I don't use this very often but right now I just happen to have it on so I figured I'd show you guys 
Now, coming down here, we have better NC7. Now, this is actually a newer tweak, and you can see that you have a ton of options right here. Just make sure that you have it enabled, and then you can hide the separators, hide bottom separator, top separator, Yahoo logo, hide the X, use clear instead of X. So you can see that there's a ton of different stuff. You can even change the preview lines right here for your uh, previews, like in your mail or anything in your notification center. So you can see, if you scroll through right here, that probably looks a little bit different than uh, normal. You can see I don't have any of the tabs right up there. It's all just one tab, and I use the clear button instead of the X button. So there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with that. But let's go back here and jump into Boot Sound. Boot Sound is going to allow you to add a boot sound when you reboot or respring your device. Now you can see you have some toggles here that you can play early. You can even make it play on silent mode. And then you have some options right here that you can choose from. So you have your Mac. Ubuntu, Vista, well it's kind of hard to hear because they play over one another, and then WinXP. So I usually use Ubuntu just because, I don't know, that's just something I've been using. But you can actually add your own uh, in that file right there if you saw, if you wanted to add your own, then you can add it to VAR Mobile Library Boot Sound, and you can use them right there. So if we go down here to CC Loader, then this is basically going to allow you to customize your control center. You can see here, if I pull up my control center, it looks a little bit different. It doesn't have the media controls right there. You can also hide the sections if you want to do that. You can move them around, rearrange them, you know, just take the little grabber, rearrange them, or disable them just like that. So it's really actually pretty simple. So let's go back here. We're going to go to Classic Dock, and a lot of people have asked me about Classic Dock. Uh, they want to know how to get my dock. So basically you need to download Classic Dock and then you need to download the Aura Winterboard theme, which is this theme right here. Once you get that, you're going to get an option to toggle on your Aura Classic Dock theme. So you can see here, I'll just tap on this real quick. We'll scroll down here to this. This is your Classic Dock. So if you download Aura and you download Classic Dock, then you can enable Aura Classic Dock and then respring and then you're good to go it's going to give you this classic dock theme right here so we're going to go back into the settings here jump out of this and right here we have colorize so if we open that up in the music app basically what this is going to do is theme your music app according to your album art cover for that specific song so it's going to match it so you can see if we swipe over that doesn't match too well but you can see if we swipe over to uh, you know heist right here that it matches really well so I use that every once in a while I actually don't have a ton of music on my device I use Pandora most of the time and uh, so I don't use it that much but it's still on there I also have convergence which I actually covered quite some time ago and it's a lock screen tweak that it has a lot of functionality. I don't use it uh, hardly ever, but I am waiting for the official release so I can mess with it again. So you can download that. So you can check out the video review in the description. Now, Cylinder right here is actually pretty awesome. I did a review of this as well. Uh, what I do for this, this is basically a barrel killer. So if you have barrel and you want something that you know adds more functionality, more animations, and it's free, then you can check out Cylinder. And you can even put animations on top of animations if you want to do that so what I do is I go ahead and uh, select almost all of them I haven't selected them since uh, they updated it but I select all of these and then I just put it on random and then it randomly chooses uh, what it's going to do every time so it changes up every time I swipe a page so that's basically how that's all set up now if we go down here to display recorder uh, you can basically record your display using display recorder I don't use it that much but I do uh, I used to a lot and I just have it on my device in case I need it now Eclipse I I like this tweak I don't use it very often anymore uh, basically what this does is change up the entire uh, UI of your device and change up a whole lot of apps some it's not compatible with but it works pretty well it works the best in my opinion in terms of all the uh, tweaks that are going to change or darken up your UI so this one actually works pretty good I did a review of this I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check out we have flip control center here so this is going to allow you to change up a lot of stuff in your control center so you can see here that I have five icons if I wanted to change that I can change it to six and you can see that I have six toggles right there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this. So it's something you can check out. I believe this one is free as well. So you can tinker with that. And I believe I did a review of this as, as well. So I'll put that in the link in the description below if I do. As well as Grabber. Let's go into Grabber here. 
what I use this for is just to hide the, the grabbers, really. I don't change up the colors of it or anything like this. This is a free tweak. So you can see here, if I go to the lock screen, you can see that I don't have any grabbers for the control center or the notification center. I also have jelly lock right here, which we'll get to in just a second. I'm sure most of you guys know about that as well. But let's go ahead and unlock the device, go back here. We'll go into grid switcher. This is just the app switcher that I have installed and it gives you a grid as you can see right there instead of just the you know scrolling through app switcher that we normally see on iOS 7 now I sometimes or I did use vertex I thought it was a really cool tweak but it didn't have a uh, a kill switch on it so you couldn't like enable or disable it so I ended up uh, uninstalling it because I didn't always want to use it and I just never installed it again so for all you developers out there always put a enable disable switch in there just because it's a whole lot easier than having to uninstall but if we go down here we have iconomatic which is going to allow you to you know use uh your winterboard themes to the full advantage of what the themers are doing it's going to create those masks and uh, enable those for you so you can add different shadows you know all kinds of stuff so this is usually uh installed if you need it for your uh, winterboard theme so if you're big into theming, then you're going to see that right there. You also have InfiniDock, which I have installed. This is going to allow you to add a whole bunch of different icons into your dock. So you can check that out as well. I also have Jelly Lock right here, which I showed you previously. It's going to allow you to add uh, some quick launch applications right here if you want to right there and those are all customizable you can change the size you can change a whole bunch of stuff there's a ton of uh, customizations I did a review on this as well so you can check out the full review in the description below right here we have messages customizer so if we tap on that you can see what my messages actually look like a lot of people have been asking me about this let's open up something right here so you can see that this is all set up with uh, messages customizer so you just change the background color you can change the uh, color of the message bubbles you can also just make it the bubble outline which I've done as well so you can all do this within messages customizer it's a really cool tweak and it's a free one at that so it's really awesome I definitely recommend checking this out it's awesome and we also have Mobius Mobius is going to allow you to go back a page so you can see right there that I'm on my first page but if I want to go to my last page then you can just swipe over just like that so you never actually have to go back you can just continuously swipe through just like that and that's really awesome so highly recommend Mobius it's another free tweak going back we have multi icon mover plus now this is a really cool tweak too I always use this you can see that it's jittering extremely fast I'm not sure why it's jittering so fast but you can see that you can uh, actually select these just by tapping a check mark and then you can swipe over to a page like this and hit the home button it's going to automatically set those let's go ahead and put these back over here I need my settings icon right there but let's tap on that we'll go back over here and go into polis polis is a pretty cool tweak as well it's going to allow you to change up uh, what these switchers down here look like as well as add all your own so I did a re full review of this as well so you can check that out in the description we also have power down pro it's going to give you some options right here rather than just powering down your device if we hold down the button you can see you can swipe through safe mode shut down reboot and respring and then once you have the one you want selected just slide to confirm going back into the settings we're gonna go down here to uh, rocket launcher so rocket launcher is a really cool tweak I don't usually have this enabled if I have to respring I'm not gonna show you it but it actually is pretty cool let's go ahead and check yeah I don't think I have to uh, so if I tap and hold you can see there's rocket launcher and it's actually pretty cool I like the UI of it and there's actually some options that you can figure in there but it is really cool I highly recommend checking that out alright so going back into the settings here let's go to round screen corners and basically what this does as you can see right up here is going to allow you to change the pointed corners to round screen corners so you can set that right there we also have spin so if we have some music playing in the background which we do you can see right here that it's going to give you a really nice uh, lock screen when you're playing music so that looks really good and I use that ever so often so you can see down here we also have spring shot so if we wanted to uh, change up or if we wanted to close out of an application you can actually pull down and it's going to it didn't do the animation because this is on grid switcher but if you have the normal uh, app switcher then when you pull down it's actually going to launch it straight up and it actually looks pretty cool it's a nice little animation now right here we have status HUD 2 so you can see that you just enable this and what it's going to allow you to do is add a 
volume UI right up there in the status bar rather than being protruding and annoying right there in the middle of your screen. So you can toggle that on just like that. So it's actually really cool. Now, this is something that you can't use with battery status bar, which I showed you previously that had the battery right up there. It's going to crash your device. So if you have that enabled, then you can't use both of these tweaks. But if I were to choose, I definitely choose status HUD 2 over battery status bar. Now coming down here, we have swipe selection, and this is obviously an awesome tweak. I actually have swipe selection pro. I don't know why I have swipe selection uh, installed right now, but basically what that's going to allow you to do if we type something out right here, then you can just swipe over like that. You can also do some things where you hold the shift and swipe over and it's going to highlight. So a lot of cool stuff that you can do with that. I did a review of it so you can check that out as well. We also have Tiny Grid Plus right here. So what I use this for is I change the layout of the folder preview to one by one. And then I have some of the settings set up right down here. But basically all that it does is make one app preview in the folders, which is I like. I think it looks a whole lot better than having a grid right there as a preview for your folders. It also gives a little bit of a cool animation when you open it up. Now coming over here, we have type status. And what this is going to do is give you an overlay on your status bar when someone is typing an iMessage to you. So it's going to say, you know, John is typing or John has read this uh, message that you just sent so that's really nice because it gives you that uh, little update while someone's typing to you right here winterboard you guys probably already know about winterboard this is going to allow you to change the theme of your device and you also have uh, zeppelin right here that's going to allow you to change your carrier logo so you can see right here there's a ton of different uh, stuff that I have downloaded uh, the one I only actually have uh, one package installed. I think it's a hundred Zeppelin icons, and they all suck. So I don't recommend downloading that. It's not very good. I usually just use the cloud just because it's simple. It looks good, and I really just haven't uh, downloaded a whole lot of Zeppelin packages since I rejailbroke my device. But you can always download cool stuff right there. Now, if we jump into uh, our winter board here, I'm going to show you some of the. I have a ton of themes actually installed, but I don't use all of them. The ones that I use the most or that I like the most will probably be Aura, which is installed right now. Uh, I like Oxygen, iOS 7. That one's pretty awesome. As well as Zanilla. I like View. That one's pretty cool right there. Uh, let's keep scrolling here. Aramy is really good. I like Aramy. And if we keep scrolling down here, there's Aramy as well. Party Flat was actually pretty cool too, so I recommend that one. And that's pretty much all. I know I have a lot in here, but I haven't just I just haven't uninstalled them. I don't like them a whole lot. The, some of the ones that I have in here, so I wouldn't recommend all of these themes. But the ones that I mentioned, those are really cool. Now, if we take a quick look at these applications, because this is going to be an incredibly long video, I have all the stock apps right here. Uh, I also have, you know, Winterboard. I have Hopping Plane, which is like a Flappy Bird clone. It's actually pretty fun. I have Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, then my Instagram is iTweaks right there. Just a ton of different stuff right there. Uh, if we open this up, you can see we have Pandora, Starbucks, where I keep all my gift cards, Compass, Map, IMDB, uh, Speed Test, Twitch, Find My iPhone. Let's swipe over here. I have iFile. I highly recommend that. If you guys don't have iFile, you're doing jailbreaking wrong. You definitely need iFile. Uh, just mail, some extras. Let's see what's in there. Absolutely nothing. Uh, voice memos. I have Amazon, Flappy Bird, Threes. It's actually a pretty cool game. I have Steep and Cheap, which is probably something you guys haven't heard of. You can see if we tap on this and open it up, it's going to give you one deal at a time. So you can just basically, if you like this deal, then you can buy it. It's usually really uh, discounted. You can see this is 63% off. So you can download or you can buy that. Uh, if you want to, if this is something you look for, it's mostly outdoor stuff. It's not necessarily like anything tech, you know, not, not any type of gadgets or anything like that. It's usually outdoor, you know, camping, going out, you know, biking, that sort of stuff. So we also have PSN friends. I have find friends, new stand, my AT&T. That's who I'm uh, uh, with, with my, my data plan and everything, or my phone plan. I also have Passbook and AR7. There's a lot of really cool uh, wallpapers in AR7 so you might want to check that one out for sure uh, going through here we have uh, Dropbox notes Twitter videos Netflix reminders App Store eBay this is all my fine this is my finance folder I have my money Bank of America options house which is where I uh, trade stock if you guys are into trading stock I'll put a link in the description below options house is actually really good uh, they have really good prices, the cheapest by far of anywhere else that I've found. So I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to find out more about that. I also have Fidelity as well as PayPal. Snapchat, as you guys both probably know, uh, I get a, a lot of Snapchats a day. 
Uh, we also have Cydia, of course. We have Skype Tweetbot, which is a Twitter client. This is actually really awesome. I highly recommend checking this out. Uh, it has a really awesome UI. You can see right here, this is the dark mode. And I mean, you have all your tabs down here. So definitely check out Tweetbot if you're looking for something that, uh, or a new Twitter client at least. If you want to check out Twitterific, that's free, and it was just went free, uh, I think, yesterday. So you definitely check that out as well. And I also have remote for my Apple TV. I also have Tiny Scan, which is going to allow you to scan PDFs and then email them, which is actually pretty nice. I uh, also have Mailbox. I have Gmail. I have Pages for my Facebook page. Authenticator right here, which is basically just a two-step security system in order to get into my email account. Also, Smash Hit, which is a game. There's Display Recorder, which I showed you previously. And right here we have RunKeeper, which basically just tracks all my activity. If I go for a bike ride or if I go running, then it's going to track that. You can see that I didn't, uh, I haven't done much this week, and I didn't do much last week either. But you know, if I go for a run for like a mile or two miles, three miles, whatever it was, then you can see exactly what that is right there, and it tracks all that. And you can even set goals. There's a ton of stuff that you can do with this. I highly recommend it. I've been using it since like. I think that said 2011. Also have Symbol Link, which I downloaded last night, which is actually a pretty cool game. It's from the maker of Tetris, and it's actually pretty cool, so you can check that out if you want to. It's a free game. So that is basically everything on my device. I guess I should jump into Cydia real quick uh, just to see if there are any type of tweaks that I haven't recommended. So now we're going to quickly scroll through my Cydia packages just to show you guys any of the tweaks that I have installed that don't actually have a settings panel so we could have missed. So for scrolling through here, we have Circle 8 status bar. So you can actually add this repo right here. It's repo.andrealarson.dk. Now this is going to give you a ton of different uh, themes for your status bar. You can't see it in Cydia, but I'll show you in just a second. And uh, I actually have a video on that, so I'll put it in the link in the description below of how to change your Wi-Fi and signal bar right here. So continuing scrolling down, we have Control Undim, which I uh, did a video on, which is going to allow you to dim the control center and allow you to see the actual brightness and it's kind of hard to explain without showing you but I did a video on that you can check that out as well scrolling down here now going down here we also have drunk mode which is going to allow you to toggle on a a little toggle in your settings and not allow you to send text messages if you're going out for a drink now scrolling down here we have let's see I think I covered most of these Here's some Mac battery. Those are some themes that I have for my battery. Myria, that one's actually pretty cool. That's a theme. I don't know if I actually saw that or mentioned it in Winterboard, but this is a really cool theme as well. It reminds me a whole lot of uh, Aura. There's no Near Me, which is going to get rid of the Near Me tab in the App Store. Pandora Skips, which automatically skips uh, songs and commercials and everything in Pandora. Uh, Phantom, which is going to allow you to keep all your Snapchats if you want to do that. Uh, let's keep scrolling through here. Same status. This is going to keep the same status uh, so, or status bar size on your lock screen and on your uh, home screen right here. Showcase, which is a huge one. I'm glad I I'm glad I went through here and checked these all these out. Showcase is a really awesome tweak. It basically gives you lowercase letters when your keyboard is lowercase, and I'll show you that after I get out of this. And when it's uppercase or capitalized, then it's going to give you capitalized letters. So I definitely recommend checking out Showcase. It's a free tweak, and it's really awesome. So uh, going down through here, we have status bar fix, which is going to fix the uh, theming of your status bar that a lot of people have had itch issues with. Uh, scrolling down here, okay, it looks like that's it. There's the Zeppelin pack that's not very good you can download if you want to it's free but it still sucks but you can see here if we open this up you can see all my keys are lowercase and if I hit the uh, cap button or the shift button you can see that they're all capitalized so that is pretty much it this is an extremely long video I did not think it would take me that long to get through all the stuff on my device but I'm glad I did because I know a lot of you guys wanted to see exactly what I had on my phone and what I use on a daily basis so let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. Hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you guys found something you can find uh, useful and use on your device as well. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.